Hi, everybody, and welcome to the No Depression Sessions at Dell Fest 2023. We are here with Sam Bush right now. Sam, thank you for being here. Glad to be here. Dell, yeah, we glad to be here. Dell, yeah, that's right. And Stephen, thank you very much. You guys have sounded tremendous in the sound check so far, and I can't wait to share your music with our audience. And we're going to hear two songs from the current record, Radio John, and we're going to hear uh -huh. a third song as well. What do you want to start with? Great. Well, we'll start with one. Uh, uh, of course, I love the music of John Harford since I was a boy. And this is one of the ones I would have first heard back in the 60s. And, um, well, it's uh, just, it's, it's appropriate. This one's called I'm Still Here. <laughs> Two, three. <laughs>
right. <laughs> that sounded fantastic. Thank you guys for sharing. Thank you. Um, we uh, have been having a blast at Del Fest. This is one of my favorites, if not my very favorite festival to be at. And I know that just found out that you guys played the first ever one. Can you talk a little bit about what this festival has meant to you over the last 15-ish years? Well, I, I think for me, uh, what it means to me is everything I love about Del McCurry and the Del McCurry family and the, uh, the, the whole family. Uh, I've Del McCurry was the first guy that ever encouraged me just to sing, we were at a, we, it, it just I never it never occurred to me just to sing without playing, and we were at a bluegrass festival in 1971 down in uh, Florida. This is how long I've known Dell, and uh, I had hurt my right hand and I had to go to a hospital and get it looked at. Came back and it was a nighttime jam session about 1 a.m. Now by the time I got back from this hospital emergency room, they bandaged up my fingers, and. Uh, so Dale says, "Hey, you want to, let's 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 play some." They were there having a jam session around a campfire, as many bluegrass festivals had. I said, "Well, sorry, Dale, I I uh, I can't play right now." He said, "Well, you can just sing, can't you?" And that <laughs> never occurred to me. And so I was uh, Dale was one of the first people to ever encouraged me to sing more. And, and uh, but over the years, uh, of course, grew up loving the the sound of his music and him. And I was in the audience at the Roanoke Bluegrass Festival in 1966 when Del McCurry and the Dixie Pals came on and abs nobody expected them to play. They weren't advertised on the bill. And they came on and played about a 40 minute set and it was one of the best things I ever heard in my life. And I just, I fell in love with Del and his music then. So it is such a tribute to the musicianship and uh, really what a one, and it all boils down to, you know, being a wonderful human being and not just a, a uh, wonderful musician that w one of the reasons that we all love to be here is because we all love Dell and the entire McCurry family so much so we feel pretty privileged to be in on this well thank you for sharing that that was very well put and yeah I mean nobody nobody is having more fun than Del McCurry it's just <laughs> such right. such a pleasure to be that was a fantastic Dell impression <laughs> you just sing can't you that was very very spot on yours well, I didn't know I was doing a Dell impression <laughs> at that point but, that's, but uh, it, again uh, we it's, it's my father used to say sometime, but in this case, if, if you can't get along with Del McCurry, it's probably your fault. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would wear that T-shirt. <laughs> Del, yeah, yeah, Del, yeah. Well, this sounds great. We've still got two songs coming up. I believe the title track from the record right now, right? Yeah, this is the title tune that written by John Pinnell and me, and um, we uh, John Pinnell grew up in in Illinois. And so he was very, very aware of, of John Hartford and John's music. And so uh, it was actually back in the 2020 uh, lockdown that uh, I had started, I had started thinking about the, the, just the two words, Radio John. Well, that was his name back, it was Hartford's uh, disc jockey name when he was a young man on KSTL in St. Louis. And, um, and, and, and it even has a further tie in that our band, New Grass Revival, when, when our first album came out, we, uh, we asked our friend, uh, our new friend at the time, and who was our, you know, kind of giving us a star endorsement of, by, from John Hartford, if he'd write a poem or, you know, write a little something for the back of our album. And so John wrote a, um, a poem about the New Grass Revival. I think he called it poem, The Arrival of the New Grass Revival. And so at the end, he didn't sign it, John Hartford. Uh, there was some contractual reason he couldn't sign his name for some reason. So he used his old radio name and he, and he put uh, Radio John, Topanga Canyon, 1972. And so that was where we first heard uh, uh, Radio John. So Pinnell and I started thinking about that and wanted to make a song where we sort of talk about the many, and we couldn't get them all in one song, the many talents the man had. And so rather than to tell you all about it. We'll let the lyrics tell you all about it. So here's Radio John. Three and a four. Starting out to work in in the summertime on the docks of the Mississippi Valley Barge Line. Joking to Sometimes with pain Became a steamboat captain He wrote the songs to Mark Twain A roll 
sailing down the river to New Orleans. Oh, I can hear something coming up around the bend. It's the Julia Bell Swain boys gleaming and steaming on in. And it's Radio John standing at the helm with a wave and a smile and some yarns to tell. He loved the life on the river. and a shuffle and a skittle water. He wrote songs every day, loud he scratch and scribble. So the two that he wrote, could he play on his fiddle? Well, I went up the river, come away last Sunday night. With my fiddle and my banjo and my baby, And then it's not in while he danced for you. He knew who every groove could turn up and down the Mississippi. He was a Huckleberry Finn, an airways hippie. Now, Radio John, a steamboat troubadour, a Mississippi Sawyer like we've never seen before. On those two to St. Louis and Illinois, they say. He played Bill, Earl, and Lester, and some boys named Bay. You could hear his voice every night till dawn. So cut your television off and turn your radio on. And it's a radio job. Just a clapping and a stomping to every one of his songs. He can make us happy and sometimes make us cry. And looking back now, I wish we never had to say goodbye. It was 690 KSDL where he played those songs. a lovely audience we uh as people know i people talk about mandolin players you go are mandolin players obsessed with tuning no we're obsessed with being in tune <laughs> whoever invented this double string thing i'd love to talk to them sometime and so you're talking a little bit offline about that that particular mandolin uh -huh. um can you tell us more about what makes that such a fantastic instrument for this you one, the fit uh, and the feel pretty unique i i, I had about a 20-year 
a run with the Gibson Mandolin Company where they uh, made copies of my old mandolin and they were the Sam Bush model. And so uh, one year at Telluride, this one commemorates what was uh, now nine years ago at my 40th uh, Telluride Bluegrass Festival, 40th consecutive. So that's pretty amazing because this year as we speak will be the 50th yeah. Telluride and it will be my 49th consecutive. We started going the second year, we being New Grass Revival. So at any rate, uh, this, this particular one was to commemorate uh, my 40th uh, anniversary at Telluride and uh, and it's a wonderful sounding mandolin too so I know, and, and, and it's hard for you to see but they actually inlaid the little town of Telluride up in the headstock there. Actually, can you could you hold it just a little bit that yep perfect we can, you can if you hold it a little bit closer to your face. You, no you don't want that. <laughs> well the focus, the, the, yeah. yeah. People, the internet can the internet can see that. Yeah, please. <laughs> the mandolin looks a lot better if I'm not in it. <laughs> but it but it is a beautiful instrument, and I'm really happy that it, it just has a wonderful sound. And, and uh, so I'm uh, pretty in, in, enthused to play it. Uh, yeah, but I'm glad we could have it here. Yeah. Well, it comes through. You guys seem like you're having a good time. Uh, the the enthusiasm is infectious, and I'm having a very good time too. There's still one more song coming up. Uh, what do you what do you want to do last? This one, uh, written by my friend Jeff Black and me, and uh, oh gosh, it's now been, I don't know if it's about 10 years old or more, this song. And really, it's, uh, it's, it, it, it's just basically encompasses a thankful feeling within, within the song, and you'll hear the phrase, and thankful for all the good friends, you know, that I found it, and, uh, and really it's, it, it, it came to be an incredibly good uh, a song of thanks for us, and especially coming out of the 2020 lockdown of just help. I would think about these lyrics sometimes as we were home and not able to go out and pick and, and our friends that were suffering with COVID and what have you. And, uh, but it, it just how much we cherish getting together and, and, and how wonderful it is to see your friends and, and re-congregate. And, and, and festivals are the, are the prime example. And I'm sure that it, here, here at Dell Fest, it's the same way. All the festivals we go to, we can literally, we get the privilege of seeing people all of a sudden greet each other that haven't seen each other. And maybe they only congregate once a year at that festival and it's a special thing for them. So uh, it's, it's this very thankful song that, you know, we get to play music and just, that we just get to be. So this one uh, circles around me. someone say your name hand on my shoulder just a little bit older now and I remember everything I ain't tell you right up on bridal veil 10,000 feet above the sound and sent me to count on my blessings and to thank you for all the good friends that I've found. dreaming this really happened 
I can feel the earth below my feet. The world is turning fast and wild. I'm like a little newborn baby child who's never known regret or defeat. I am surrounded, tangled in the wire, drawn up tight to the calling and the rising frequency. The silent smiles and laughter of those that came before And the deafening sound of all this love falling down on me Hey, hey, hey How in the hell did we get this? circled around me around me now Fantastic. Last song of the last uh, session of Delfest. We've just wrapped. Thank wow. you, guys. Wow. Well, glad yeah. we'll be in there. Yeah. Thanks for waiting for Stick us. Stick all this stuff back in the boxes and just keep going. <laughs> all right. Um, that now sounded fantastic, man. Festival. We really appreciate it very much. And uh, yeah, we'll just see, uh, see you somewhere else interesting, hopefully sooner than later. Thanks for including us. No depression. Thank you very much. <laughs>